27 here. Today I'll be showing you my new website I'm built. I'll be showing you how to make a website. Simple as that. Now you're going to need a couple programs. First program you're going to need the program called Composer. Just can be found on Composer. Program called Composer. The Wissy Wig error or sorry guys, it didn't mean Wissy Wig. It's actually short for what you see is what you get. You will need Composer. If you want to do the advanced one, you can use Notepad Plus Plus here, Windows, or whatever you have, whatever. Well, anything that works good. FileZilla, FTP Client, and you need something to host it, okay? Now I'm going to open up Composer. She's a good program. I recommend those of you who never use it, you should try it out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can buy this off. You can go to Google and do a Google search for Composer and it's free. It's a free program, sorry if I said buy. You download the program, install it to your computer hard disk, or you can well, in fact, we're just gonna open it. Open should open the composer and on the drive. So I have, I have a little quick launch icon, a little taskbar icon. Cause I'm using. Now you may have noticed that I swap up. That I'm using a switch from Windows 7 Ultimate, Windows Vista Ultimate, to upgraded from Windows Vista Ultimate to Windows 7 Starter. Cause I didn't like it. In fact, I really did like it a lot. The problem was my... This is the new computer I got over the holidays. If you haven't seen my... If you haven't seen it, go... You should watch part one of the video. Where basically... I view the whole system and... Then you should watch part two for the whole desk. For the hardware version, it's part one. Software, part two. There's no third part, I'm sorry, I'm th uh, third part, actually, two part, one and two, and two and two. The final edition is part two. Here I saw, in my computer, I actually lost the photo. The video on my iPod, I accidentally deleted it, that's where I uploaded it from. Now, when you're on your, when you're on your computer, now, first of all, you can, First thing I'm going to be showing you is how to type in this thing. To type, you type, you enter the random text. That's how you basically write your text. Now, next thing, adding an image. Go to insert image, image location. Now I'm going to add this Apple Dances thing. Do not use, but here's the problem. The problem is with the software you will need, you have to use a. The problem is for me, I. To have one of these CS. To add more things on here, you'd have to double click many times, add an image to actually use alternative text, add the next image, such and Now I'm gonna do six Apple dances. So that was pretty cool. Do not use alternative text. It's in the text. We're gonna add f two more. Darby being a bit stupid sometimes. Now let's add the last one. Add the last apple dance thing. Apple dances. No way. That's weird. Now basically, now we're on here, gonna. Now, if we want. Next thing we're gonna do is add a body. Now, for the body, you need a background color. Then you, need, you have to use a hex value. The hex value is the best way to do it. So, there are certain websites to do it. My favorite is. This one of my favorite websites is Now my 
favorite software on here is to check to see if I'm running. Yep, I'm running, guys. Running, guys. Now let's add my little, my little sim, add my little thing right here. And the website you want to go to is called Color Picker. Com. This is the best place to find hex values. This is a color chooser if you have a JavaScript if you have one. You should use certain different websites. But I'll stick with color picker because that's the best way to find hex values. Now I'm going to select my color, which is now the color I'm going to be choosing is the color of p is an orange. It's orange. Sorry, I'm sick, guys. Like an orange, it's orange, like a bronze. To like this car, copy this code. Hit copy. Go back to composer. Hit astro. This at the pin code. Then you want to add text equals parentheses. And the best one you can use white, but I'm gonna use black. It's easiest to see. Now we can let's go back to our design. See nice background. Now we're going to add our imagery. I'm gonna add a random picture of me. So this is gonna be a personal I have my under website up and running real soon. But for right now I'm gonna I'm gonna put the banner of my of my website on here. My new website. Pythonmy27.com. So I got these do not use alternate text. So here's my little picture of me. But I in a later video I'll show you how to make banner just like mine. That's in a later video, okay? How oh, that does look like me. I have the haircut, but I don't have glasses like that. I do have sunglasses. I sort of look like that. I do sometimes have a scraggly beard, and I do have a smile all the time. My nose is somewhat like that. And my cheeks, and that's my my face looks like sometimes. Now let's add our let's add another image. At our next image. This one's gonna be pretty spin down simple. I'm gonna add these twenty pictures of me. Add to middle and the center. Add the next image. Let's shrink it down to another. That's a reasonable size for an image. Let's add our next. Now we're going to add our next symbol, which is going to be image. Doing this alternate text. Going to add our next one. My next image which is another picture of me. Let's so shrink it to about a custom size. Let me measure the size of the image. Image properties. 626 by 469. Let me go down to my next image. 626. Sorry guys. 626 to 469. 626 to 469. Now let's add our next image. One's going to be this picture of me again. Let's forget to turn off the alternate text. I call that the has me the younger version of me but green glasses that's
in a t-shirt, so these are bad quality pictures. That's six twenty-six to four with the six hundred twenty-six pixels. Pixels two or four hundred sixty-nine pixels. Let's ne our next image. This one's even more funnier. This I got the turn of the ultimate text. If these are bad images, I'm gonna add our last image, which is gonna be for the insert image. Make it to about the same size. Six twenty six by four six hundred six. And that's our next image, which is gonna be this one. Which means with my normal size. Ugh, keep there. Let's fix the damn size. That's me. That'd be that's my work image. That's all right. Now the next one we're gonna add. That's how you add images. Now here's our next one, which is gonna be our next one. Adding a table. Of course we have a certain table, but I'm gonna be using one that's two by two by four by four. Four. And so let's just make do some tables. Table. I only have two, three columns. Have about that one row and three row, one column, three rows. Do our cells. Now let's add our. Well, the next one is we need to embed the video inside the data columns. What's going to be inside it? Let's go back to I'm gonna go to YouTube and down, go to my videos. And download get one of my favorite videos. Which is be it's gonna be an old it was gonna be an old old song by it's gonna be Hawaii Five uh, Adventure video. Should be 
by a certain person. Okay, I think I might have the wrong And of course I have the wrong I have the wrong god here. Yes, this is Evan Pablo third. Sorry guys, I At this channel one, this is one that's basically the channel five in my hometown of uh, Sarno back in nineteen back in the back in the seventies. Sorry about that guys. Life and breath. It's This is the one. The Andrew shows the one. Oh, Prometheus. Hope. Okay, I'm just gonna skip over to, to the next one. That's just the right one. This is the correct, this is the first correct one. So let's share. Embed. We're going to embed the video into our web browser. Use the HTTPS one. We can click this new link. I'm gonna take this. Sorry about the guys. The wrong video section. We're gonna go to HTML. We're gonna break out the HTML code. Let's go to HTML code. Inside. Video code. I got this video. This is one of my favorite songs. The 
weird stuff this me before I get my video card. But the music company that oh that worked for the ventures. Or I might have copyrighted using the United States. So I'll just stop right there. We're gonna post in the video which I very gigafied videos. So let me go to Giga let me search for gigafied YouTube. Search for channel. Reviving a dead hard drive. That's what I'm looking into for. This reviving a dead hard drive. And that's the reason why my, I got to use this computer. No way. I'm not reviving the hard drive. Then we have fishing. Ticket. Where technology and So we're just gonna need 
There's gonna be a test site. That was my uncle Cracker Jacks. And we're just gonna use that as the home page. Basically, we're gonna go to documents. We're gonna log into business, which. Mine's on the website address. Test. Gonna be in a website called biz.nf. Mine's under a .co.nf name. So be. See, I'm gonna be going to the website address and using. I use that as the temporary. Now. I'm going to enter. Uncle. I mean, grandpa meaning. I say grandpa. So I would say gra Grandpa Cracker Jacks Kettle Corn dot co dot and F four slash test pi byte two seven. Side. 
go to now I see so have the account number which one's gonna be my username is one oh sorry two six six Now I think I'm going to put it in the wrong directory. So what I'm going to do is close add it. I'm going to go back into the account. It's like the Grandpa Crackerjack one. It's like test plan by 27. It's right there. So the root directory. Cut. Things on test dot e. <coughs> Now I'm just gonna go back to the website address. I'm gonna go back to the HTTP address. <coughs> Type code and F. So it should be HTTP colon slash slash grandpa test dot HTML shows now don't worry dude. I'm only gonna look at the I'm gonna look at the video the wife have a video the play button Well, that's it for everyone for part of my 27th video cast. My video cast. Please click, review, and please subscribe.